Hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Janine and this video is going to share why we decided to do genetic testing on our embryos. Genetic testing is another one of those topics that comes up in the infertility and IVF communities often because people don't know what to do. Should they do it? Should they not? What's the pros? What's the cons? How much does it cost? These are all things that you have to consider and you have to talk about it with your doctor and you have to do what's best for you and your partner. So again, I'm not a medical professional. This is just, this is how me and my husband came to the decision that we were going to test our embryos. You'll hear genetic testing referred to as a couple different things. There's PGS, which is pre-genetic screening, or PGTA, which is pre-implantation testing for anapo anapoids. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. They're basically the same thing. What they're gonna do is when your embryos get to the blastocyst, blastocyst stage, which can be on day five, six, or seven, they're going to remove about five to seven cells and biopsy, and then send those off to a lab for testing. And what PGS or PGTA is looking for is chromosomal abnormalities. Because if you have an embryo that has abnormal chroma chromosomes, the, the chances are much higher that it's not gonna result in a pregnancy. Or Some of the pros for PGS testing are it helps you avoid transferring an embryo that is not likely to lead to a live birth. Um, it also helps to determine if you didn't have a lot of embryos, if you should do another round of IVF before you move on to a transfer because this all takes time. Um, every cycle can be anywhere between, even if all the stars align, from retrieval to transfer can be three to four months. So if you don't have any normal embryos and you need to do another retrieval, you know, it's a lot of people think it's better to know sooner than and the cons. It's expensive. It's expensive to test your embryos and it doesn't change the quality of the embryo. You can have, you know, your results can come back with normal embryos, but that doesn't mean that it's gonna result in a successful pregnancy. Now I'm going to go into how we came to the decision that we were going to PGS test our embryos. There's this misconception that IVF is a guarantee and it's not. It's I think the most common numbers you'll hear is that it's still only a 45 to 55 percent success rate and if you transfer a normal embryo the success rate of that embryo goes up to about 70%. So it is a lot of math and odds and you have to, for us, that was important to take into consideration. Our center makes you decide before you start your IVF cycle if you're gonna test or not. So we had to pay $3,800 to have eight embryos biopsied and tested at our down regulation appointment. So one good thing that he does though is that if you don't have that many embryos to send for testing or blastocysts i should say then you can take whatever remaining balance is left and use it on a future cycle so if you sent four on ivf round one you have you can send four more on ivf round two so that is a way that he does kind of work with everyone because he batches them together when he sends them out for testing and that helps keep the cost down so people aren't paying for eight embryos every time, but not sending eight. So that made it a little easier for us to make that decision. Another reason we did the testing is because I've never been pregnant up until now. Uh, because of my PCOS, we have no idea what my egg quality was like. We didn't know how many eggs we were gonna retrieve, how many would be, how many would be mature, how many would fertilize. And really, nobody knows. Nobody knows that. But when you have PCOS, it's 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 really common for you to retrieve a lot of eggs and lose half of them just because they're not mature, and then lose another half because they don't fertilize or there's quality issues with them. So even though I had been on supplements, there was just really no way to know what the quality of my eggs were going to be. If we if I didn't have quality eggs and I didn't test them we're at risk of having more miscarriages or more failed 
transfers that don't even result in a positive pregnancy test. So that was, that was another thing that we thought that we took into consideration. Our IVF cycle resulted in us biopsying and freezing 27 embryos. And the eight that we sent for genetic testing were our top eight. Our center does use a slightly different grading scale than most centers and clinics. So I only had one AA embryo out of all 27 and it was a six AA. The other seven embryos that were sent were all five BBs. So really they were all on the same like playing field. And the three that came back abnormal were, um, they called them complex abnormalities where they were missing um, multiple chromosomes or had duplicates of multiple chromosomes and they never would have resulted in a in a live birth uh, that they, they just they were there was too many chromosome um, abnormalities so I'm you know I'm glad we did the testing because because they were all five BBs we would have never known it could have just that could have been the one the embryologists pick and again our center is a more affordable center and a transfer is only two thousand dollars but that's still two thousand dollars if those three had been the three first embryos chosen to be transferred that's six thousand dollars if they had all failed so we saw it as you know spending thirty eight hundred to biopsy and test was worth it to prevent possibly having failed transfers because again in our situation, we just had no idea what to expect from my eggs. So that's how we came to our decision. Um, you know, as I've mentioned, it is a very personal decision. You have to do what's best for you and your partner and talk to your doctor. And, you know, it depends on your diagnosis, your age. Do you have diminished ovarian reserve? Do you have PCOS? There's so many factors that go into it. As always, thank you for watching. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you want to receive uh, future updates on my current pregnancy or IVF related content and just decisions we've had to make. Have a great day.